Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to go over the highest paid car salesman with you in the world, and I'm going to show you exactly how they did it. All right, in this video, number one, you're going to learn who the highest paid car salesman ever was. And by the way, the record's there for you to break it. I'm going to tell you how also, how you can break it. So number one, the record in the United States for the most money ever made as a car salesman, car salesman, not manager, not GM, car salesman, $716,000. I did it. Now it's there for you to break it. And my goal is this, number one, to teach you how to be 10 times better than me, but you got to want it. That, that dollar right there was put up in a rough economy when times weren't great like it is right now. The era is here for you to break it and break it this year. So number one, let's do some simple math. Let's break it down. Then I'm going to tell you how you can break it if you want to and exactly how I did it. So number one, 716,000 in a year. That was my W-2. I didn't count my manufacturer money that they sent me. You work for Kia, you work for Dodge, you work for Chevy, you sell a car, they give you a spin money. Guys, this is 716 grand on a W2, a W2, okay? So it's not including the additional money, which is about another 200 grand. Didn't add that. This is W2 money, okay? Now I want you to understand this. That is $59,666 averaged every single month. So basically $60,000 is your average. We've got a lot of sales pros right now that are making 30,000 one month and then going back to 10, going up to 20 and then going back to 10, go up to 30. Guys, 60,000 a month consistently for 12 months straight. I always say this, I don't care what you did last month, I care what you're doing consistently consistently. All right. And I'm going to show you how to be consistent in this video. So number two, let's break down a couple things here. There's 365 days in a year. If you got a pen, you want to take some notes. I'm going to show you how to get the dough. All right. 365 days in a year. All right. I took, when I made this, I took two days off a week. I knew there was 52 weeks in a year. That was 104 days off that I took. Look, I learned some things. There's 60 minutes in an hour and how you work 60 minutes in that hour is how you work, okay? I took my days off every single week. Most of the store didn't. They didn't take their days off and they made a fraction of the money. Some of them made $100,000 in a year and they worked six or seven days a week. They worked open to close, ding to dong, because they didn't work 60 minutes in an hour, which means every minute they were working, they just traded all of their time and went and sat at work. That isn't how it works. I want you to be a high achiever. I'm gonna show you how to break that mold and do it the way I did it, which obviously works. And it can work for you and my goal is to take you even farther than I got. I didn't have me as a trainer. I was doing the work. Now I'm training you, which means I believe I can make you way better than me. All right, $2,743. Write that down, $2,743. That was my average daily commission. So I knew I was gonna work five days every week. All five days I went to work, $2,743 was my average commission based off the entire year, which is $260 one days that I would work in that year. Now look, I'm going to show you some stuff. I'm giving you some math. If you want to break a pull-up record, you got to know how many hours you have in the, in the record to do the pull-ups in. And then also, what is the record? How much time do you have to rest? How many, how many pull-ups do you got to do per minute? You know what I mean? If some of you are looking at the big number right now, like 700 grand, you're a little bit overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, I mean, I'm making 200 now. I mean, and I've worked my life away. How do I get that? Listen, do the math. Listen to me, break it down. I'm gonna show you right here at the end on how you can earn this kind of money. And I would highly recommend get a pen and piece of paper and rate yourself from one to 10 in these areas. And when you can get to an 11 in all of them, you will have broke my record, all right? So on average, that's what I was making a day. And how did I do it? Take a pen, piece of paper, let's go through them. By the way, watch this video a thousand times, share it with the buddy that you'd like to see him break the record with as well. But go through yourself and rate yourself, you, on these things. This is how I rated myself daily. Every day that I sold, I had to report card back to me. Every day I rated myself in all of these areas. And if there was one, I was a nine at, a six at, a three at. Everybody sucks in all these areas I'm about to go over until they don't. So I wanna tell you this, the best salespeople aren't born, they're made. Make yourself figure out what is your hole and then let's level up, okay? So number one, let's write down a couple things. Insane work ethic. Notice I use the word insane. It means compared 
to the rest of the world who was average, it was insane. 60 minutes in an hour worked every single minute. Like my life depended on it, obviously it did. Insane work ethic, write that down. Number two, commitment. How committed are you? Okay. How committed are you to the other things going on in the dealership and how committed are you to the goals that you've set for yourself? See, I had lots of people trying to distract me along the way. You know what they got? Zero attention from me. You could not distract me because I was committed. Write down commitment. Discipline. Woo! Discipline is the thing that makes or breaks people every day. How many people start the gym? Don't keep going. They're not disciplined. How many people start a new diet? Don't keep eating right because they're not disciplined. How many people start something but quit along the way because they're not disciplined? They can't maintain that discipline. Discipline is the difference between you earning this kind of money, even if all of these things you can get tens at, but you don't get a 10 at discipline, you're not going to make it. So let's go through them quickly. Insane work ethic. Commitment, discipline, closing. Woo! You can't close something, you're in trouble. All right? Negotiate, branding, marketing, and lead generation. Generating your own leads. Knowing that everybody in the world out there needs to know who you are, what you do, how great you are at what you do, and where you are at, and how they can get a hold of you. Okay? Objection handling, mindset, attitude. I noticed I put the gym. Andy, why would you put the gym when we're talking about work? Because I went to the gym first thing in the morning and the gym put me in a great mood through the day. There's studies that show if you go to the gym in the morning, you will be in a great mood for the next 12 hours. I needed that great mood for the next 12 hours as I was going to do my job. Does that make sense? That's why I went to the gym. Also, in order for me to hit a crazy massive high levels of success, I needed that energy. And going to the gym created that special energy for me to crush my competition that was around me and to give my customers a show worth paying for because I was alive and not asleep. As I walked into the dealership, most people were already sitting in their cubicles doing nothing, drinking coffee, reading the newspaper, watching the news, or complaining about what happened the day before or talking about sports. I had nothing to do with any of that. I just got out of the gym. I was ready to attack, all right? Huge wise write that down huge i didn't say a baby why like oh, i just want to make money so i can uh you know pay my bills no i wanted to pay my car off i wanted to pay my house off i wanted to have millions of cash in the bank i wanted to change my generational tree guys i work from a state of madness you know what that means i came from nothing i wanted to prove everybody else wrong i was on a mission okay huge wise why are you doing all this why would you want to learn all this why would you want to break the record why? If your why isn't clear to you, you won't get there. It's got to be on your heart. I'm going to ask you a question right now. Close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Can you envision your dream? And is your dream so strong and you want it so bad that it makes you emotional thinking about it? Like, like it makes your face tighten and makes you want to cry you want it so bad. That's when you know you got a real reason. And those people that work with real reasons like that, like I do today and I did back then, they break every record and it's hard to beat that person extremely hard. I'm giving you some tips on things you can think about in your life, okay? All right, clarity. Be crystal clear on what you want. The more clear you can become, the less distractions can get in your way. Night and day goal ride. Every single night, I wrote down my goals. I wrote down what I needed to do the next day. Guys, I carried a piece of paper, men and women, or in my, my hand that every day I would write down things as I crossed them off the list so at the end of the day, I knew that everything had been done. Guys, I got ADD. I mean, it's my superpower, but I had to write stuff down because if I didn't, I would have got lost like most salespeople in a dealership. Goal writing, morning and night, every day. All right, two hours of training a day. This is where I may lose some of you. We all have the same 24 hours. I have the same that you have. I still train two hours today, today. You know what that means? My life has been created and I have the life that I have today because I sacrificed me getting self-improvement where most people aren't focusing on self-improvement and getting better. They're working harder on their jobs than they are on themselves. So they never get better. So they expect to go to work and scale their income and be happier and be fulfilled when they're not getting any better. 
It's a lie. You have to sacrifice and train. You have to understand that the things that I'm going over with you are the things that will change your life forever, but you cannot become extremely good at these things without training. Energy, again, going back to the gym. Be fired up all the time. Enthusiasm, man, put some special charisma on you, right? Have some enthusiasm, make people wanna be around you. Conviction, whatever you say, make it seem like you believe in what you're saying. Have conviction. If you'll believe it, so will your customers. Believability, same thing. Make sure you believe so that they believe. Confidence. Competence creates confidence. Listen, when something's new to you, you can't be confident at it. Let me say that again. When something is new to you, you cannot be confident at it. It's physically impossible. If I grab you right now and I'm like, hey, listen, what's your best price? You know what? I'm going to talk to my wife. I'm going to get back with you. We're going to look for a couple more vehicles. Thank you so much. We're, we're just going to hold off altogether. Man, if you don't know those objections as I'm going pop, 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 you're going to stutter. You're going to flinch. You're going to say something you don't want to say, and you're not going to say it confidently because because you can't because you haven't trained. And guess what? You'll have missed those deals and that's why your money's not where it's at. So confidence, confidence. Training creates massive confidence. Write that down. All right. Speaking, you are a professional speaker. You are a public speaker. Whether you speak to one person or 10,000, it doesn't matter. Do people want to hear you speak? When you talk, are they like, man, I want to listen to this guy longer? Or are they like, look, I want to shut this guy up? Okay, I want you to understand that. You being a great speaker is a skill. You're not born with it. You may not be great at it now, but you can be the best in the world at it. But you've got to train, okay? All right, delusional belief in me. You have to believe in you when everybody else doesn't when the customer doesn't when no one else thinks that this is going to happen you still believe it's going to happen and therefore in most cases it will happen a delusional belief which means you're unreasonable about wavering from winning okay crazy customer service man put on a show worth paying for don't be like your competition look i'm going to explain this to you 90% 90 maybe 95% of the people in the world have purchased a car from someone else before they have okay they purchased a car from someone else it's just the facts if they're over 18 95% of them okay i'm going to ask this are you better than the last person they bought a car from or or are you mind blowing? When they buy something from you, do they wanna buy every single thing that they buy for the rest of their life from you? Or is it just, well, oh, he's better than the last guy? You see, that's the difference. We've gotta raise our standards to a level where it's not that we're the best in the store, we're the best in the world. And when you can put on a customer experience, like that, you will be forever wealthy. Everybody, I just showed you how to break my record of 716,000 in one year selling cars. I just showed you how to do it. Now the question is, what will you do with it? Will you go back to having the same life you have right now, or will you make a decision that that's what I want, and there's gotta be someone who can teach it to me? By the way, that's me. Shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. There are tons of training programs that I offer, closing, negotiations, objection handling, lead generation, speaking, how to make a half a million a year selling cars, confidence, belief, phone training, whatever it is that you need. You text me, tell me what you need help with and what you want to start working on right now and I'll get you set up with it. Guys, 918-210-0254. Break my record, baby. Let's crush it.